is Nat Geo. Nat Geo Wild, Ustream and YouTube. Thank you to all of you for the time that you give us. It really is much appreciated and without you, of course, this would just be two idiots driving around the bush looking at animals. It's much more fun with a whole lot of people to share it with us from all over the world and uh, on today, of course, in America, the Philippines and Rwanda. He's quite a splendid fellow. On his own, and unusual that he hasn't found a herd of impala to lurk around with. And see that lovely brindled colour around his ears and un onto his neck. He's got quite a long coat, you know. He's got a little bit fluffy for the winter time. That's very nice. And look at him. That's a brilliant picture. So he's obviously eating grass. That's pretty clear. But he's also eating relatively short grass and apparently they'll tell you that the zebra eats slightly longer grass than them and if you watch a warthog feed, I don't know how many, the, watch him, how many of you watched the last time we super zoomed a warthog snout feeding they scuff, they scuffle under just lower down than where that wildebeest is eating you can see he's getting a little bit of the stolons, that's the underground stems but largely it's the leaves this is fantastic. Hey? This is actually a very, very nice area for them to be grazing. And his nose twitching away there. And these guys will maintain, they'll maintain a lawn. And you can see, I mean, this, this kind of grass cannot be that nutritious. And it's fine for a little bit, but after a while, especially as the dry season progresses, it'll be more and more difficult to maintain condition. Does that wildebeest have one eye? No. No, no, there it is. There's the, there's the eye. Phew. You know what that hole is just below the eye. We don't often get to spend time like this with the wildebeest, I've got to tell you. It's a very special little sighting. Not quite as special as the one that Jamie's taking you to, but uh, almost. Don't you think, Prime? Almost. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's spectacular. Mm. I wonder if we were to open the shot on, or open, come live with a picture like that, if you'd be able to identify what animal it was. <laughs> In the main. This is so cool. You can see the stripes very really clearly there. We don't tend to think of them as being striped animals, but they are. Helps break, we think it helps break up the outline. And maybe not quite as black and white as the zebra, but definitely, definitely covered in stripes. <laughs>